Drake, he gifted Sexy Red with an iced out Cartier watch. Yo, what's your what's your thoughts on Sexy Red? Um, I mean, she's a, uh, you know, she's one of them ones that uh, she's not trying to pretend to be something she's not. Uh, I think she's comfortable in her truth. Uh, I think she has to be careful. Which way? In being exploited, just because, you know, it's like that, like what Charleston White just said, you know, um, and I find a lot of truth in what he said. A lot of people hate Charleston White, <laughs> but again, he, he is somebody who it's hard to, for him to round up his troops because he ruffles so many feathers. You, 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 on one day, one of your people in your that that's got your back might fuck with what you're saying, but tomorrow you may say some shit about something totally different that pisses them off, and they're not willing to march and go to war with you or about you. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. kind of get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So if he if he was in the business of not offending people, he would have a hell of a situation behind him. He'd have a hell of a brigade, but he's not in the business of being friends with people. He's not in the businesses of, uh, he's not in the business of making allies. Yeah. He, he, he states that clearly. And that's why he kind of jumps around. So you can't keep your hand on the pulse of what he's going to say or do, what he's going to react to. And then he'll drop some real good truth in there. And uh, just on the sexy red thing, what he said was, you know, she's promoting the whole spirit. Um, and it's no different than what young men been on, young black men, you know what I'm saying? But as he said, like the 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 the, the young black women, the black woman, they they've been subjected to society's systemic approach when it comes to racism. Yes. But can you imagine if the black mother was taken out of the home? Absolutely see, not. See, you can't even, your mind can't no. even. Because they have been the, 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 the backbone of the back black family. So, so, so you took the black father out of the home in a lot of ways. And it's, it can't just say they or them, the system of it all. You know what I'm saying? And if we fall into that trap and we continue to spiral and, you know, it just looks like, damn, it's a lot of. One parent homes, a lot of single parent homes, right? If we say that in our culture, it's more single mothers at home with the kids. And we've been still figuring out how to get by. What happens if you take the mother out of the home? Catastrophe. Catastrophe. So like for instance- A, a, a breakdown. So, for instance, with my mom, in my entire life, I know of four men that she may have ever engaged with. That's my father, my brother's father, and possibly two, maybe three more guys that I know only because you didn't come home this one time out of 700 nights. Mm -hmm. You didn't come home this one time. You kind of get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's when my mom, and rest her soul, that's when she was coming up. Now, these women is letting it be known, I, yo, I do you and your brother. Yeah. That's my lick back. I get, you get, I get some get back by smashing your brother, nigga. Yo, I'm, I'm going to get this thing away. I want this wet and do this and that. Buy me this, buy me that. I'm fucking. And that's not just Sexy Red. It's a lot of women doing it. But Sexy Red has a different approach. She has a downright, I'm in the hood. I'm out the hood approach. I'm not, it's not a polished thing. I'm not trying to be commercial. I'm promoting classic, ratchet, whole-like activity. And that's just what it is. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to judge her just off of her music. Because I have myself have been judged just off of my music. And then when I talk to people, they're like, oh, wow, you're a really nice guy. Oh, wow. I didn't think you had some sense. I'm like, damn, do I come off that ignorant? And the first thing they say, well, your music. I'm like, man, fuck. Oh, well, okay, you know, all right, okay, all right, all right. I'm going to give you that. 
I don't know. I, I've never met Sexy Red. I don't believe I have. And you know what? She could actually be a real down chick. She could be a, a, a good person. She could be a, a, a viable citizen. But listening to her music and the imagery that's, that's being put out, she's just like a little hood chick that's just doing her thing. She done figured out a cadence. She done figured out a sound, whoever producing with her, who's ever engineering her, who's ever writing with her or for her. They figured it out because it's not like polished. It's not clean. Her music sounds like, her music sounds like demo quality music. No, it matches what she's saying. Yeah, 100%. It matches. It's, like, like it's, sonically. I'm not trying to be polished. It feel like I got a, a okay producer who is not trying to go and use everybody else's sound bank. He got his sounds. This the 808 he gonna use. This the snack he gonna use. And we rocking. This shit is not that polished, but y'all love it and I'm gonna keep delivering. That's what she gave me. Yo, uh, you know, did you see that joint with her? With the, I think the dude put up the video. It's a pig or a video. <laughs> I was just looking at that shit like Old boy ago. wearing an uh, ankle bracelet. Like, everything about this woman's persona, it, 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 it all gelled together. It's nothing. Well, let's keep it 100, though. Let's, let's keep it 100. Like, just because you somebody with a name and you got some money now, who you're attracted to, yeah, you know, you, you, some people don't let that change. That's just like, that's just like me. Like, when I got on, it was some, it was some chicks in the hood that I was looking at. Like, I would still hit you. Like, you from the hood? I'm from. We from the same fucking hood. Yeah. I just ain't got around to hitting you yet. It's just always, you always had a boyfriend. Always, but if I can hit you, I'll still hit your motherfucker. And I'll pipe you up a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? So she just what it is. She, she, what she promotes, she, she ain't too good for it. She just got a career that's going there, some music. Cause if this shit slow down and she can't keep up, that's what she gonna be right back at if she can't figure it's what it out. She knows. It's what, it's what she knows. what she attracted to. So I'm not surprised. I'm not like, oh my God, girl, you're supposed to know better. I'm listening to the music. I'm seeing the way she presents herself. And it's not that she don't know better. It's what she's comfortable with doing and what she want to put out. So, hey, man, because I'm not knocking Sexy Red. I don't want nobody to think I'm knocking her. I just, I do want us to be a little more sensible when it comes to the censorship. Because these babies listening to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Babies listening to this shit, bro. Like you gotta think, and I, that's where that's where it gets like us as parents, us as as adults in hip hop. Like, see, see, you gotta understand, and we talked about this a little bit earlier. Hip hop now, it's it's a couple of generations in it. Yes, sir. And 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 we 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 a little older. We the hip hoppers with mortgages, so right. we might have been sexy red at one point, but it's a little different. We got kids. And 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 as much as we love the music, we love the culture, we're still adults who love our kids more. And where's the fine line when I love this, but I don't know if I want my kids exposed to this. I don't know if I want them thinking that this is normal. I think people get, they're getting the, 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 the whole thought process. Oh, the kid, they'll be all right. They straight, they cool, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, nah, it's a difference. It's a difference. You know, cause you can see how it changes. Like when I was doing music, niggas was trappers. Niggas was trappers. Then after me, niggas started like, now niggas is druggies and killers. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Niggas is druggies and killers. And you got and you got rappers themselves, you know, playing right into yeah. every word they speaking. Yeah, it's niggas is druggies and killers, man. Like everything is an op. I'm like, hey man, I don't even want to put it out that I got no ops. Cause I don't and I and I know it's people that probably don't like me. There ain't no question about it. It's like, nigga, you're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. It's people that don't like you. It's people that secretly hate you. It's people that judge you. It's people that are jealous of you, that are envious of you. It's people that pray for your downfall. We know this. 
Um, so let's not act like that's not a real thing. But I don't want every time I every time I play a music, I got an op. It's like a it's like a it's a time sheet. When I say time sheet, I don't mean like what you clock in and clock out with. It's like whatever time you in, there's a sheet that there are all the things that must be mentioned in a song for it to fit in the times. You know, like when I was out, niggas was talking about Ashanti's. Niggas was talking about 26-inch rims, Mm -hmm. 28s. No, niggas was talking about certain cars. It was certain weed. Uh, It was certain alcohol you drank. Uh, it was certain celebrities that was hot at the time, you know. So with your time sheet, that's what's on it. The time sheet now is you got to have a switch on your gun, <laughs> on your glizzy. You yeah. got to have a switch on the glizzy. Uh, you definitely got ops. You got to be willing, willing to spin the block on your ops. You know what I'm saying? It's just certain things that are on this list of things that you must have, and I think that we got to get out of the mindset of this shit because it's getting worse and worse. Because I just think, again, man, sometimes it's the kids. Because the kids, they just like, man, it's just it's just what we into. We we, we don't care. We ain't hurt nobody. We just, but, but it is. Yeah. There's this generations out there, y'all, they got to deal with whatever the byproduct of what you've made. That's just the real level because niggas was trappers. Yeah. I remember mean, niggas was pimps and players and trappers. Backpack rappers, no niggas is boy, clappers, <laughs> no for real, and niggas just want to like niggas want to get high. I'm talking to a young nigga like, well, I know you got the perk. I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't fuck with the perk. But uh, let me put you on one. Come on, let me. Get, nah, but I don't want that shit. I don't give a fuck if you think I'm not cool because I don't want that shit. I don't want that shit because I don't know what that shit doing to me. Yeah. I don't want no hard drugs. When I was a kid, you seen a motherfucker popping some pills, you was like, shit. <laughs> you ain't going to turn out right, boy. You're going to be burned out before <laughs> time. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad when you see it happening. You be like, damn, bro, you don't really... And I'm not judging nobody because we all... We 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 all have our shortcomings. You know what I'm saying? We all do. I just think that when we put it in the music, if it's a shortcoming, then why parade and gallivant around as if this is my biggest asset? If it's a downfall, that's what I don't I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? course like i'm i'm not i mean some people say hey man you just got to turn get your lemons turn the lemonade life get your lemons turn the lemonade nah but if i'm if if i'm addicted to a drug right and it's supposed to be my downfall i don't want to be around here making it seem like this will make me superman if i know that it's my downfall you know what i'm saying it's just like a junkie telling you man oh we don't do no dope Give me two for them, two. <laughs> I'm going to go out hit them motherfuckers on this shoot. I'm going to be back. Don't do what I do, nephew. Yeah, girl. You make it seem so great, yet you tell me it's so bad. Yeah, yeah. I'm willing to see what's so good about it. Maybe you, oh, I get it. You don't want me to know how good it is. Let me try it. Because it seems like this is how niggas be. It seems like it should be no new drug addicts, bro. Yeah, that's one of the realest things you said today. It's like it it, no it seems like it should be no new drug addicts. Man, Damn. It seems like it shouldn't be no, because, nah, nah, it shouldn't be. But but what happens is once people become drug addicts, um, and you have functioning drug addicts or successful functioning drug addicts, it kind of um, diminishes some of the negative connotation that comes with it. It, it kind of, it's like a tarnish on it. It's like, ah, well, shit. If, 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 if this rapper doing it and that ball player doing it and this actor doing it, swipe it down a little bit. It ain't that bad. I mean, we like this guy. He, yeah, he gets happy. Every time that part of the song come on, he sing. He, he all right with me. I even started singing it with him because I see him saying, no, that's what influence does. 
See what the way I just said that to you? That whole little rundown, that's how influence works. Yeah. 